have some melon for you. Oh, great. You're twisting my melon, man. So let's talk about Swan Vestas. But first, I just enjoyed uh, my uh, J Barber pipe. Excellent pipe, by the way. This is, um, I guess it's a love it. I always put the uh, what I'm showing you in front of my face, but I think it's got face detection, and I don't know if it focuses on the object. So my J Barber, love it, excellent pipe. Had a great smoke outside, it wasn't windy, it was cold, and um, it was a little noisy, noisy and rowdy out there. And uh, it's funny because like, a girl came onto the patio. Um, this is Timothy, Timothy, uh, Timothy Taylor, and it is a seasonal ale, it's called Newell Spring. I'll put up a picture. So, anyway, so a girl comes out on the patio. Dropped my camera case. Girl comes out on the patio and she's like, uh, what is that smell? There's a whole crowd of them. And this other guy says, uh, I don't know, it smells like shite out here. I was going to be like, that's me, guys, you know, deal with it. Anyway, so um, I will say this, um, what was I smoking? I was smoking... Um, can't see it, but old Dublin. I'll take it out of the bag with one hand. Uh, I was smoking old Dublin, and um, it's great. Lovely tobacco. And I got to tell you, if you got a chance to drink, a uh, Timothy Taylor's Noel Spring. We're all smoking Peterson's Old Dublin. It's really quite an excellent combination. However, I guess that's my first experience of someone not liking the, uh, in quote, room note of the tobacco. And I'm like, just be thankful I'm not sitting here eating a fucking bowl of Dorian fruit. Anyway, we're here to talk about Swan Vestas. Now, it may be uh, common knowledge, I don't know, that uh, the standard apparent, um, I thought it was some sort of Illuminati conspiracy, but let's investigate this. I've done some research. I have to grab my notes. But if you look at that logo, it's a little child on fire with a crying mouth expression. You're like, with his arm out in flames, and it says, danger, exclamation mark, fire, kills children and I'm like um, you know what what was the original purpose of Swan Vestas were they setting fire to children was it like burning witches at the stake anyway so apparently Swan Vestas original match company was a small company in um, Bootle I think uh, near Merseyside Liverpool area and um, the, the company changed like three times and at one point they were dipping the matches they were like in wax or something and then it was swan pine investor matches so um, I can't find any reference to where the original swan term comes from of course um, and there's no swan connection to the Illuminati however black swan except for the movie being all dark and sinister is just something unusual a rarity um, Vesta however comes from Roman and has its uh, etymology in Greek, uh, Hestia, I think. I'm not looking at my notes even, because they're on my iPad. But um, an Vesta was the uh, Roman goddess of the hearth, which is like uh, of the fire, or the base of the fire pit. And um, the Roman temple uh, representing or, or respecting her was um, had uh, a depiction of an eternal flame with uh, Vesta's angels catering it, tendering it, or something like that. Something like that. Um, now, what's the connection to the Illuminati and why is there a child on fire? Well, the Illuminati, as you know, in conspiracy theory on YouTube, is all about uh, pedophilia. Sorry to bring up the topic. 
Bush, right, the bottom. Uh, but what's his name? My era of growing up was the movies with the two Feldmans in, you know, Corey Hay Corey's, the two Corey's. Corey Hayman, and Corey Feldman. And one of them's going off the rails talking about oh, Hollywood right now and Hollywood is a cesspit I have spent time in Hollywood I've mixed with people in Hollywood I've seen behind the scenes stuff and um, if you want to know what I've seen there then I will tell you in another video um, it involves like um, who did I meet in Hollywood I'm, I actually met Seth Rogen and um, I also met uh, what's the English guy he's really funny um, Brand Russell Brand met him in the lobby of the Roosevelt Hotel. I was going to a loft party. Been in the hung out in the Roosevelt Hotel a few times. I've seen like young wannabe actresses snorting lines of cocaine in people's rooms and after parties and shit like that. It really happens. So anyway, women get exploited. They exploit themselves. It's a whole like cesspit. It's, it's Hollywood. And then they. Okay, so I'm ranting about it now. And they propagate messages into society that dictates our culture that aren't healthy messages and what you know what's what's the backing of those messages we don't think about it but i switched on i can't watch television anymore i can't watch hollywood movies i prefer uh youtube and uh hopefully at some point i will get back to actually reading books i do carry a book around but i haven't actually read more than seven pages of it lately anyway i digress so Vesta represents fire. The Illuminati, it actually means illumination, of course, in the word, right? So it's like the illuminated people of that uh, secret society. So maybe there is a link to Swan Vestas. But I don't think so. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rate this as, as being uh, debunked with, 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 a, with an edge of um, mystery around it. And of course, the Swedish match company now owns Swan Vestas. <laughs> and um, that's all I have to say on the matter. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of my beer. And um, when I get home, I'll edit this video. And um, I'll try and find a clip of women drunk. Takes women drunk through. I'll try and find a clip. Oh, let's try that again. Drum jump. Jump, drum, jumping up and down. Can't speak today. I will try and find a clip of women jumping up and down on trampolines, just for your enjoyment. Because I think there's only like two women in the YTPC, at least that I know about. Three, three women. I've seen three women. So um, until next time. This is the Pied Piper. It's not in the library. Oh, man.